up the world of the living, my name is Lex and welcome back to Truly Bedrock. Friends, in the last episode we had to deal with all of this stuff and as you can tell we clearly dealt with it and it's not there anymore. Hooray! But I have a bigger fish to fry today. Today, my friends, is the culmination of so many videos, so many episodes, so many weeks of hard, hard work. Remember that vault, the, the unbreakable one, with the Elder Guardians and with the skeletons in the redstone and with the code lock? Today, I will be finally following up on that. I've sketched out a specific contract of services for Deathcraft and myself. According to this contract, Deathcraft will provide me a 10% of all of his money as long as he's storing it in the vault for basically forever. Per month! Meaning that I will be incredibly rich and incredibly happy because I won't even have to do anything anymore. My friends, this is the life. This is the living. I am basically a rentier. Uh, a rentier. I don't know how that word is pronounced. I'm a person who does nothing for a living and just, you know, sucks money out of everybody else. Basically like a landlord was for money in this particular case. And all of that thanks to this tiny piece of paper. And uh, it also has like another two pages on which uh, there's like consequences if I, uh, if I actually mess up. And if the vault is being robbed, which in, in that case I will have to actually pay money to that craft, pay him his sum back and then, and then some. It's a little bit risky, yes, but the, the risk reward here is absolutely measurable, okay? The reward is free money forever. The risk is a uh, one-time payment. I'm sorry, but uh, by my by my calculations, I'm actually in the winning. Unless... But we'll talk about that a little bit later. Okay, first and foremost, I got the contract and the copy of the contract. So, as per usual, I'm leaving the copy of the contract with the client. And I'm leaving the contract itself for myself. And I'm putting the copy of a contract in my general uh, mail storage. Uh, but the co original contract I'm naturally putting in here into the ender chest so no one can steal and modify it. And also there's a pig in that restaurant. Wow. Even with all these precautions, I just feel like I need to add somebody else into the mix. And somebody, I feel, who not only can PvP real, you know, real well, but also who has an exact opposite of a sleeping schedule from myself. So that they play basically whenever I, I'm asleep. Hmm. Hey, Silent. Thank you for coming. Hello, hello. How are you doing? I'm doing. Okay. No, honestly, I'm doing kind of stressed right now because I am. Yeah. I need to ask you for a favor. Ooh. Okay. What's going on? Uh, so I have like a lot of just responsibilities going on with, you know, this entire thing and that entire thing. And right now, Datcraft and I have had a gr an agreement over at my vault, you know, at the bank. Yeah, yeah, of course. And I have this sneaking suspicion that he's gonna kind of scam me around it. Is he gonna do insurance fraud? I don't want to say that, because then I will, that will probably be liable. But okay, okay. I can ask you as a friend to just keep an eye on the vault every now and again. Okay, so just like, you know, pop by, do a little bit of guarding, make sure no yeah, one uh, just, just, tries any funky business. I mean, you already have one eye out, so I, I, I hope you can keep it on the, <laughs> on the general area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just leave this one at the doorstep. It'll be perfect. And you know what? I even got the perfect outfit oh, dear Lord. for this job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and no one's going to be messing with her bank. I even got an axe, but it's netherite. That's that's <laughs> going to be threatening. Okay. Yeah, of course. Oh, and by the way, how much? How many diamonds are in there? Um, Right now, all of mine. And that's what's about to put all of his. And... Uh... Uh, I don't remember, it's over 80 diamond blocks or something like that. I don't remember Ooh. how many sets he has. Very nice. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a, a uh, high I'm getting 10% of that per month just for not doing anything and keep letting him keep them there. That is the scam out of this entire thing. <laughs> yeah, which is that's why I think he's going to do something. 
<laughs> Maybe he realized that's a bad idea. Cool. Well, that, that vault's a great idea. Cool. I'll head over there right now. You never know what people might be up to. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. I'm getting paid for this, right? Uh, yeah. And just like that, the money bin is finished. We even have a security guard, at least for the first time. I mean, I'm pretty sure people are gonna eventually forget that it's even there and uh, stop the robbery attempt. But just us putting that much cash in one spot will absolutely turn some heads because if I know this server and I know it pretty well, people will react. So keep me posted, okay? If somebody tries to do anything, let me know down in the comments below. So this entire situation really exposed to me an issue that I was avoiding this entire time. You know how we got the gas, ca uh, gas blaster 9000 with like 11,000 gusts in it? You know how we got this thing down there uh, based on a bug that neither Liara nor I were aware of? You know how Silent just, you know, did this really, really nice thing for me? And I was planning to do a nice thing for him for like ages and actually ask to you guys uh, you gang, you peoples of whatever gendered uh, identification, to actually tell me what nice thing I could do for him, and you never did? Yeah, this here is actually a golden opportunity to finally do something really, really cool for Silent Whisper. And uh, yeah, it's really, really hard to do, by the way. And I understand why you didn't actually come up with anything. Because he already has everything one can ask. He already has an RTX GPU. I can't just gift him one for Christmas. Uh, he can get any diamonds from his own diamond hole. He can pretty much get all the netherite. He already has it. So, you know what? I think in this situation where monetary goods and general goods are just no use for him, there's only one thing I can provide that he cannot get anywhere else. And that, my friends, is art. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him art. I'm gonna give him some art because we got this really really nice micro block mod, uh, uh, data pack, not mod, data pack, not data pack, uh, plugin, plugin. Yeah, developed by Foxy No Tail that we have in the you know in the server, and we can use all of them. We can buy all of them, and we can actually put something together that he will really really appreciate using those. Lara already taught me how how to do the bare minimum with them. Now let's see if I can, for once, assemble something of value that he would really, really appreciate. And also I have no idea where my set of the microblocks is and where my uh, set of the dice that rotated are. So I'm just gonna buy a new one and pretend that that's how it's supposed to be. Let's see. For this project I'll probably need the white concrete and... Uh... Okay, snow mini block also will help. Uh, okay, let's see. Where's my money? Oh, right. Dadcraft, this is somehow your fault. Dadcraft, this is all your fault. Okay, let's give this a proper go. Uh, this here, this here will do nothing. Um, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll need a different block. Aha. This here is gonna be my sculpting table. Let's give this a try. And remember, this is just a try. I know you are used to me just nailing everything first try on this channel, but today we're giving this a first go. I'm very careful. I'm gonna be very careful. I'm gonna be very good at this, but not right away. So I will need your patience, your uh, respect, and perhaps even a little bit of your help. Because I'm flipping horrible at this. Let's see. First and foremost, I will need a base. And I will need a base that doesn't look like sideways entirely. Something along the lines of... Mm, yeah, that that's... Okay, that just does not... Uh, how do I... How do I... How do I... Rotation align. Uh, okay, it's haunted, everyone. Can we mini block it? It's already mini block. Can we micro block? That's as small as we can get. Can the large block? <gasps> That's a large. Okay, we'll need a much bigger table if we want to succeed at this. And now to spend half an hour digging this half slab. That's good enough, but can we now look to do? Because aligning this stuff with rotation and whatnot, it's that's fair, that's that's okay, but now we need to actually move it around. 
how how do is the question really because uh, one thing that Liara told me is to basically place these on your hotbar uh, and depending on how you want to do this you want to you know kind of place it and hold it and all that kind of stuff okay so this moves here this moves there and we want to move it as quite a bit there is this the mini block okay this is it being the mini block I am can I cannot I cannot overemphasize how important it is currently that the dice are not being used up <laughs> okay let's give it another go uh, we're gonna align this one also okay there we go and uh, carefully 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 rotate it and move it all the way here oh no it's 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 way too pixel perfect isn't it no looking at it it, it blends way too well and i need there to be a little gap between these right now all i did is just a stare <laughs> i mean i one thing i can do is i can kind of rotation unalign them but i think if we want that to look right i will need much more effort put into this let's see how can we rotate rotate z that's one of the that's one of the horizontal ones at the very least rotate y will rotate them vertically Okay, rotate uh, zad. Oh, I instantly regret this. Well, I guess this is what we're living f with now. Okay, rotate x. Oh, yeah, rotate x is also is entirely not what we want. Well, would you know it? Rotate y is apparently exactly what I want. And hey, look, this looks like something. I just now realized that I never actually explained to you people what I'm making, so, um... Yeah, this is totally what I was trying to accomplish. Definitely not me making it up as, as I go. Okay, I got a different idea how to do this, but uh, it will require a lot of clicking, so here I go! Okay, now it's time for the face, and um, yeah, I feel really, really comfortable with this by now. I feel we can actually get something out of this, if I can find my Y values, or you know, moral ones for that matter. Now it feels we get to go to the hardest part, because I need to make a line, a horizontal one, right here. And I think the only kind of material I have for it is this red sand. So I'm just gonna... Yep, there we go. I think I could fit another one block in there and made him a little bit smugger via that. But honestly, I, at this point, I just don't want to ruin the aesthetic. Let's go for the eyes. And that's pretty much it. I mean, his iconic pose, his 
Iconic other qualities? Why is this? No, okay, why? No, no. lower that. That is actually, you know what? I'm gonna raise both of them. <laughs> his iconic qualities, his iconic poise, it's all there. The thicken lives, my friends. It lives within the hearts of our lives, and it most importantly lives within the hearts of my house. Look at him. He's amazing, isn't he? Just a glorious visage of a glorious animal. He could be a little bit more smug, though, about his existence. So I'm gonna try and line up uh, two diagonal blocks down here. This might ruin everything for everybody, so I'm just gonna be real careful with it. But first and foremost, I need to convert it into a microblock. Hey! And there he is! So happy with itself! As happy as he'll ever be! The frickin' everybody! <laughs> Round of applause for the greatest hero Truly Bedrock ever had! How do I now put him in Silent's house? I really do not need him down here! <laughs> in fact, I would rather not, not have him ever anywhere on the server, but you know, too late, I already cursed our, all of our existence with him, with his awful visage, um, what do we do? I mean, I could absolutely get silent, you know, a different sculpture of sorts, but this, this is just too good to pass up, my friends, uh, his left leg notwithstanding. Look at that! You can't buy that in a store! This here is unique Zloy XP quality seal. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave him here for now and uh, go buy more some better micro blocks. But I do think we need to get silent some quality Christmas presents. Since, you know, it's uh, Christmas and I don't know if he celebrates. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna give myself a higher, a, be a better deadline. I'm gonna give him New Year's presents because I do not celebrate Christmas because Russia celebrates it in January. Uh, but I do celebrate New Year's, and New Year's in this, is in December, so that's close enough, right? Actually, flying by, why did I never turn this guy into a freaking... Like, it, it's really asking for it, just sitting there in the middle of commercial area. Missed opportunities this server, missed opportunities everywhere. And speaking of missed opportunities, I just now realized that um, actual chicken heads exist. You know, uh, they, they are a thing. You can get ahead of a chicken right in here. Well, not right in this particular shop, but in general, they are an option. And I never ever tried to add, the, to give the Ficken the chicken head. Then again, Ficken is entirely a different animal, so I don't really feel that bad about it. Point is, point is, point is, heads are also an option. And using heads, I can create even more intense and interesting looking stuff than with just micro blocks. So I will be doing quite a bit of research into that and by the end of it, we'll have silent a nice and pleasant Christmas present or you know, whatever present, well, winter, winter mass present, like I like to call it. Um, just gonna splurge a few diamonds on uh, micro blocks to actually get it. So that's gonna be it for today. Thank you everybody so much for watching, I'm gonna, gonna depart into my flipping single player creative world to try and plan out the actual build I want to do for the statue, and we'll see what comes out on the other end. To be continued, have a good one, I'll see you tomorrow.